Welcome to Power Up. If you are new to my channel make sure to click the subscribe button and hit th bell icon. The 10 deadliest viruses on earth. Humans have been battling viruses since before our species had even evolved into its modern form. For some viral diseases, vaccines and antiviral drugs have allowed us to keep infections from spreading widely and have helped sick people recover. But there are other viruses out there that are equally deadly, and some that are even deadlier. Some viruses, including the novel coronavirus currently driving outbreaks around the globe, have lower fatality rates, but still pose a serious threat to public health as we don't yet have the means to combat them. Number 10. The Marburg virus scientists identified Marburg virus in 1967, when small outbreaks occurred among lab workers in Germany who were exposed to infected monkeys imported from Uganda. Marburg virus is similar to Ebola in that both can cause hemorrhagic fever, meaning that infected people develop high fevers and bleeding throughout the body that can lead to shock, organ failure and death. Number 9. The Ebola virus The first known Ebola outbreaks in humans struck simultaneously in the Republic of the Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1976. Ebola is spread through contact with blood or other body fluids, or tissue from infected people or animals. The known strains vary dramatically in their deadliness. Elke Mulberger, an Ebola virus expert and associate professor of microbiology at Boston University, told Live Science, one strain, Ebola restin, doesn't even make people sick. But for the Bundibugyo strain, the fatality rate is up to 50%, and it is up to 71% for the Sudan strain, according to WHO. Number 8. The rabies. Although rabies vaccines for pets, which were introduced in the 1920s, have helped make the disease exceedingly rare in the developed world, this condition remains a serious problem in India and parts of Africa. It destroys the brain, it's a really, really bad disease, Mulberger said. We have a vaccine against rabies, and we have antibodies that work against rabies, so if someone gets bitten by a rabid animal we can treat this person, she said, however, she said, if you don't get treatment, there's a 100% possibility you will die. Number 7. The HIV. In the modern world, the deadliest virus of all may be HIV. It is still the one that is the biggest killer, said Dr. Amesh Adalja, an infectious disease physician and spokesman for the Infectious Disease Society of America. An estimated 32 million people have died from HIV since the disease was first recognized in the early 1980s. The infectious disease that takes the biggest toll on mankind right now is HIV, Adalja said. Powerful antiviral drugs have made it possible for people to live for years with HIV. But the disease continues to devastate many low- and middle-income countries, where 95% of new HIV infections occur. Nearly one in every 25 adults within the WHO African region is HIV positive, accounting for more than two-thirds of the people living with HIV worldwide. Number 6. In 1980, the World Health Assembly declared the world free of smallpox. But before that, humans battled smallpox for thousands of years, and the disease killed about one in three of those it infected. It left survivors with deep, permanent scars and, often, blindness. Mortality rates were far higher in populations outside of Europe, where people had little contact with the virus before visitors brought it to their regions. For example, historians estimate 90% of the native population of the Americas died from smallpox introduced by European explorers. In the 20th century alone, smallpox killed 300 million people. Number 5. Hantavirus Previously, a different hantavirus caused an outbreak in the early 1950s, during the Korean War, according to a 2010 paper in the journal Clinical Microbiology Reviews. More than 3,000 troops became infected, and about 12% of them died. 
Number 4. Influenza During a typical flu season, up to 500,000 people worldwide will die from the illness, according to WHO. But occasionally, when a new flu strain emerges, a pandemic results with a faster spread of disease and, often, higher mortality rates. Number 3. Dengue A vaccine for dengue was approved in 2019 by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use in children 9 to 16 years old living in an areas where dengue is common and with a confirmed history of virus infection, according to the CDC. Number 2. Rotavirus. Two vaccines are now available to protect children from rotavirus, the leading cause of severe diarrheal illness among babies and young children. The virus can spread rapidly, through what researchers call the fecal-oral route, meaning that small particles of feces end up being consumed. The WHO estimates that worldwide, 453,000 children younger than age 5 died from rotavirus infection in 2008. But countries that have introduced the vaccine have reported sharp declines in rotavirus hospitalizations and deaths. Number 1. Two viruses stands in number one place. SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, first appeared in 2002 in the Guangzhou province of southern China, according to the WHO. The virus likely emerged in bats, initially, then hopped into nocturnal mammals called civets before finally infecting humans. After triggering an outbreak in China, SARS spread to 26 countries around the world, infecting more than 8,000 people and killing more than 770 over the course of two years. SARS-CoV-2 belongs to the same large family of viruses as SARS-CoV, known as coronaviruses, and was first identified in December 2019 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The virus likely originated in bats, like SARS-CoV, and passed through an intermediate animal before infecting people. Since its appearance, the virus has infected tens of thousands of people in China and thousands of others worldwide. The ongoing outbreak prompted an extensive quarantine of Wuhan and nearby cities, restrictions on travel to and from affected countries and a worldwide effort to develop diagnostics, treatments and vaccines. Make sure to mention which is the deadly virus in comments.